asbestos in my airstream. So I was reading on a forum, an Airstream forum. Um, what was I reading about? How did this come up? Oh, I was on a Facebook group, an Airstream Facebook group. <coughs> and uh, someone posted and said, I think, I don't know if I have air, uh, asbestos in my Airstream. Do Airstreams have asbestos in them? And so I got to reading that, and that's interesting. Mine's an old Airstream. I wonder if it has asbestos in it. <coughs> so I read further. Googled it, and apparently some air streams did have asbestos both in the tiles and sometimes around the furnace in the air streams, and I don't know where else it might have been. So, <clears throat> I read that and I got to thinking, boy, the kids and I have been in here peeling up tiles, and there could be asbestos in these tiles, and we could be getting cancer as we speak. And apparently the way to check <clears throat> is to measure these things. Now the asbestos tiles apparently were nine inches and <clears throat> the ones after that that didn't have asbestos were 12 inches. Um, 12 inch tiles became common. So we're going to find it together. Do these tiles potentially have asbestos and how then do we mitigate it? And sure enough these are nine inch tiles. That means these potentially have asbestos in them. I don't really know how to confirm it. So the problem with asbestos obviously is that it gets into your lungs and can give you cancer. Um, and they're not as bad as say insulation in your house because um, they're not loose. They're you know they're a compact pr uh, processed material. <clears throat> but the fact that we're we're grinding these up because we're in here whacking them apart and peeling them up uh, with their bare hands and, and breathing them to dust uh, that's not good. In terms of the furnace, well, the furnace was taken out of here already, um, so that's fine. Um, I don't know what else insulation. Like this stuff here just looks like fiberglass insulation, so the insulation in the rest of the camper. Um, I'll have to just double check that, but it looks like fiberglass to me, as far as I know. And I don't know where else they would have had it. So this is generally clean, but I was um, sawing through what apparently could be asbestos tiles, so that's no good. That is no good at all. So, how do you mitigate it? Well, what you're supposed to do is put a respirator on and peel them up and put them into a garbage bag. And then I guess you have to take them to a hazardous waste facility. Uh, well, I don't guess. I know. I know that's what you're supposed to do because asbestos is hazardous waste. So I've been doing this the whole time. I had absolutely zero idea, zero indication that I never even thought about it. Um, but uh, I guess I should have buying something so old you never know what's going to be in there and they used asbestos up until you know what the 60s 70s when they finally um, you know got rid of it and called it hazardous material so while these aren't as bad um, there's still potential for issues now we're going to cover this up anyways but at this point um, you know, my wife's not going to be happy uh, unless we peel all these out uh, as much as I can anyways <clears throat> and minimize uh, the trouble. Now in the back, of course, it was all peeled up. Um, nothing there. And most of these have been peeled up, uh, mostly by the kids to be honest. Um, but we have lots left and so I'm just going to have to put a respirator on and uh, make sure I don't uh, cause any more health damage to myself, any, any more harm, and kind of pick up as much as I can. Um, originally I was just going to leave it there, um, but now that it potentially has asbestos, I don't really want to leave that in there. It's not a huge amount of work, it's just uh, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I haven't been in here a ton, although I have been in here while I was working on um, the floor and cutting through the tile and picking it up with my bare hands, which again, uh, I just didn't realize. So. A word to the wise, be cautious and uh, be aware that your Airstream, if it's a vintage one, sufficiently vintage, there may be some asbestos in it. Now, asbestos, as long as it's not stirred up, is not a problem, uh, generally. And there you see some more insulation there. I think that's just fiberglass as far as I know, but I will double, I will double check and see what they put in here. 
Um, but definitely want to get that out and get that get that out of here before you start camping. Just just for the safety. You don't want to get a camper and you know be breathing in potential harmful substances. I guess it could be harmful me just being in here right now. But a couple of minutes right now isn't going to be any worse than uh, what I've already been doing in here in dusty situations. Um, get, getting rid of the flooring and stuff. So. No, it's just flooring's peeling up there. I don't know what that's about. <clears throat> Anyways, I don't got a leak. No leak up there. Um, I've got some other projects I'm going to do today, but I want to do a video on asbestos in your camper. So mine's a 65, 1965, and if it has 9 inch tiles, 9 inch square tiles, then you potentially have an issue. That's that's how the saying goes. Now, I guess honestly, if you really want to be careful, if you have 12 inch tiles, you should be careful of that too. And generally, if you have a fully intact camper, there may be some loose asbestos or, uh, around the furnace, for example, etc. So I'm going to look into this more. Um, I'm making it, may Google it a little bit more for my specific year. 1965 trade wind, 24 foot. Just confirm um, that the asbestos may be in the 9 inch tiles. I definitely have the 9 inch tiles like you saw there. So this is a, a definitely a concern and definitely something I need to deal with before I go any farther because it could be hurting my health as I speak right now. So I want to put it out there, guys. Beware. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Um, I do have a bunch of stuff that I'm going to get to in the next video. I'm going to be sealing some holes, putting some rats on, and getting the electricity in here going. So. Yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned for that part uh, of the series. And if you haven't checked out the rest of my series, um, I've got a whole playlist on my channel. Definitely subscribe and um, check out that whole playlist. i got a whole pile of videos about uh, purchasing and restoring this uh, camp or something. Yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next week.